Education not only teaches the art of living but also inculcates courage among the pupil the purpose of art is not for the sake of art but for the sake of life this brings positive change among the students and pioneers confidence mental health creativity with this aim our school has been patronizing different art forms in our school since last 6 years the data a folk art form India is a country with diversified folk tradition especially Karnataka state is known for its rich cultural heritage and different folk art forms such as yakshagana doddata sannata shri krishna parijata and puppet dance this adds glory to the richness of Karnataka's folk tradition the origin of doddata has history of 150 years This art form is being performed in almost all the part of North Karnataka especially in Kyalakonda and its surrounding villages of Shiggaon Taluk. This art form is being performed by the village people the basic the elements of the data are Veera Rasa and Rudra Rasa Ramayana and Mahabharata and Devi Purana and such mythological stories are the basic themes of the data but nowadays the data is being performed with historical social and informative of plans and schemes of government as the theme makeup has as equal importance as conversation acting and dance in the data a role in the data without makeup is like food without salt says one of the data janapada scholar The richness of the data can be seen in its unique costumes. Costumes are worn on the basics of nature, greatness and weight age of characters. The common ornaments in the data are bracelet, colorful necklace and anklets and the general ornaments are sword, bow, arrow and gadha. Harmonium, mridangam, drum, cymbals sitar are used as the main musical instruments which produces loud sound chavata is the main person among himela and sings with the rhythm of cymbals till the end of the dance purushukunda ke dhajitaya taya dhajitaya taya dhajitaya taya anta himmela sangeetha shahanai abbarada jothege athara irutte dodata is the dance based drama where male characters are given more stress with a lot more bravery called veera vesha and where as female are mild here no scope for introverted dialogues but sarathi is free from this few words about selected theme of the data folk drama balage sota samrat ashoka that is a girl who conquered ashoka the great World history witnessed thousands of emperors but only Ashoka the Great stands different among all those emperors. He is the only emperor who took the oath to give up fighting the battles which are the cause for non-violence at the time when he was at the peak of his success. Ashoka lived between before Christ 304 to 232. He became the king of Kalinga after the death of Bindusara. Karavela Prabhu who ruled the kingdom of Kalinga blessed with a female child after a long span of his married life and named her Amita at this time when Karavela Prabhu and his kingdom fare in the joy arrival of Amita one of his feudal king attacked Kalinga though Kalinga kingdom won in the battle Karavela Prabhu died due to serious injuries after his death queen Nanda started ruling Kalinga kingdom At the time when princess Amita completed 7 years Ashoka attacked on Kalinga between before Christ 265 to 263 
but surprisingly queen nanda refuses to fight against ashoka and turned into a buddhist nun and settled down in a buddhist vihara later on minister sukanta announced princess amita to be the queen of kalinga and decided to fight against ashoka when amita saw the deaths of citizens and soldiers of her kingdom and heard the wild cruelty of ashoka she proceeded to capture ashoka and put him behind the grills when amita and ashoka faced each other cruel ashoka and mild hearted innocent amita Ami Ashoka was highly impressed by the innocence and loving nature of Amita. Finally, he realized that the way of violation was not rich one and took oath as he will not fight battles any more. It's true that the violence and screaming of soldiers converted Ashoka into a mild king, but on the other hand, we are not able to refuse the fact that Amita is also a reason behind the change of Ashoka's anti-war attitude. It's a surprising thing to know that the fact is a 7 years old girl changed the cruel attitude of Ashoka. The story of Amita is an example that since the ages women were being dominant in the society. Along with this though there is a trend that women characters are being played the men but in this experiment our school girls are playing different characters which add special respect towards women community of our society and here we are proud to reflect our attitude of priority to women with a strong intention in order to supporting beti bachao beti padhao abhiyan launched by the government of india sarva ajruddin nada ನಾನು ಹತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಪಾತ್ರ ಅಶೋಕ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಮುದಸರ ಮಧುಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಕರವೇಲ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭುನ ಪಾತ್ರವನ್ನು ನಿರೀಕ್ಷಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಫಿರೋಜ್ ಚವಾಣ್ ಹತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಷುಮಾ ಹಾಗೂ ಸೇನಾಧಿಪತಿ ಪಾತ್ರ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ರೇಣುಕಾ ನಾನು ಹತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಈ ಕಳಿಂಗ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಇವರಾಣಿ ಅಮಿತಾಳ ಪಾತ್ರ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ವಿಜಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮಣ್ಣಿಗೇರಿ ನಾನು ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಥಿ ಮತ್ತು ಕಳಿಂಗ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಮಂತ್ರಿ ಸುಕಂಠನ ಪಾತ್ರವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಸಹನಾ ಬ್ಯಾಳಿಗೌಡ್ ನಾನು ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕ್ಕುವಿನ ಪಾತ್ರವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ನವೀನ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಬಂಕಾಪುರ್ ನಾನು ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೊದಲ ರಾಜನಾಗಿ ಪಾತ್ರ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ತಿಪ್ಪಣ್ಣ ನಾಯಣ್ಣನವರ್ ನನ್ನ ನಾನು ಓದುತ್ತಿರೋ ತರಗತಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿ ನನ್ನ ಪಾತ್ರ ಸೈನಿಕ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಲಿಂಗಾಜ್ ಪೂಜಾರ್ ನಾನು ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಾನು ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಚೆಗಾರನಾಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಯಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಚಂದಕ್ನವರ್ ನಾನು ಹತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಈ ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಮದ್ದಳೆ ವಾದಕನಾಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ನಾನು ಹತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಬಾಲ್ಯಗಿರಿ ಸೋತ ಸಾಮ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಶೋಕ್ ಎಂಬ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡಾಟದ ರೂಪಕ ಮತ್ತು ನಾಟಕವನ್ನ ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮವಾಗಿ ಅಭಿನಯ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಈ ನಾಟಕಕ್ಕೆ